So guys, just gonna do some meal prep and shit. Trying to get this thing set up. Some of these things are not the easiest things to use. Sometimes they're assholes. Tell us no where to go. Say we're all dreaming. Oh, but then when you're here, it's crystal clear. Now I'm going to start time, but no place for your reason. Talk just what you want to be manifesting. I guess water on, water is always out here.
done. fantastic by the way I was very happy with that with that movie The Lion King not so much but Aladdin I was pretty psyched about um, and yeah I've just been singing that constantly um can I slice or should I dice that is the question to slice or to dice. It's not to be or not to be, it's to slice or to dice.
So I just got some garlic, onions, working on the wok. Basically the easiest pan to make use. Um, got the cauliflower cooked in the water, salt water. And um, yeah, we'll get these taters going too. these I just like just kind of stand them up and then move my peeler up and down makes it really fast but you gotta put your like kind of front side against the cutting board so you don't get peel out of the floor so that's it you're about to peel your fingers off and then see look it fast Once they're nice and half, then I can cut them into strips. I can just kind of leave them here and make like a uh, home fries. But this is a good, this is a good, kind of how you start to make um, like a small dice. And you have like real fries. This is closer to like a a batonet. It's not squared off, but size relative, you know. So it's gonna batonet is more for like medium dice. A julienne will be like really thin and really small. And so that will be for a broom wall, which is tiny. Thanks for the thumbs up. Thanks for the support.
that's mostly what we're looking for. Quite medium, guys. Small medium. Thanks. Okay. Take a steam everything and so the fat may matter as much. And it's gonna be it's not a quick it's not gonna be a quick cooking process with all that product in there. It's gonna be a slower cooking process. Extra points though you want this some alcohol in there. Mostly for garnish. 
And then I can keep these. I can actually put these in the hash. And add a little bit more onions. The fresh onion deliciousness cuts the roots off. It cuts the roots off. And then cut thinly. Try to slice these guys. this bottom part in with the hash just because it is a thicker part of the onion and these guys are hollow so they work well for garnish they're not really intense when you bite into them but the thicker part of the onion is going to be really super intense and so I want to cook it down a little bit so it doesn't uh, mess it up just to decide somehow some sweet chili sauce in this. It's not really nice. And then I'll finish it off with some lime later on. Really enjoy like, the sweet chili lime situation right now. Okay. This gooch. Alright, herbs. herbs. Um, cilantro, so cilantro is going to work well with the lime. I got basil, I don't know if I'm going to use basil for this. I might use just a very small amount. Maybe the basil will just be a garnish. Okay, I think that probably works best. That's cilantro. That's much. on Twitch is like, what's up, motherfucker? Make me some curry. <laughs> For some reason, my internet freaking sucks, man. It's not going to work. All right. Um... I'm not going to put it 
moving it, but you let the weight of the knife and the sharpness of the blade move um, without any pressure move through the basil. And the better the knife you have, the better your skill at it, the less the less kind of wet look you'll, let, you'll have. I, when I had my um, Corin knife, my little Corin knife, it was, uh, it was way better, it was super, super sharp. And I was able to do this. This is when I was working professionally on the restaurant. But see here, it's a little bit wet looking, so my knife just isn't razor sharp. Um, you can see it too. Oh shit! You can see it too. Um, so it's not bad, but it's not real dry looking. So that just means. Okay. 
So yeah, when you do a chip knob like that, the drier it looks after cutting, the better. too much bandwidth for me to be able to see it. So I saw, I'm going to make curry in the future, but um, I'm just having a hard time seeing your chat because my internet sucks. Or my computer sucks. Something sucks. <laughs> for some reason. But um, yeah, I will make curry in the future. And it's not a Mac knife. It's a, it's just a bullshit knife that I got from the grocery store. You can, they, you can use, you don't, I mean, it more has to do with the samurai and less with the sword. So you have to have good stuff, but you can make do with, with certain things. I don't, I'm not working in a restaurant, so I don't need a crazy awesome knife. If I was working in a restaurant, I'd probably go with a, a Mac is fine, but they're too thin, man. I would probably go with uh, a, uh, a shun. Shuns are just, they're just better. It's way nicer to use. The blade is stronger. It'll keep its edge longer. The Mac knife just doesn't keep its edge very well. It'll get a finer edge than a, a shun will, but it won't keep the edge as easily. All right, so I'm just pouring out the water in the cauliflower. I'm going to open up this here coconut milk. Get some of this loveliness going on. Get some of that in. I'm going to start with half a can, see what happens. I haven't done it this way before. I'm kind of trying new stuff here. Um, and where is my... Why do I feel like I'm going to short? The staple of the kitchen is the immersion blender. You always have an immersion blender. easy to take out liquid first. It's definitely better to store the less liquid than you need first because you can easily add liquid but you can't take liquid out of the already mixed together product.
creamy and stuff. You can see it too. Set so that aside. This is still pretty warm, so I can add in the arugula. I don't think it's a good call to cook down arugula too much personally. I like to put it in at the end because the, the residual heat from the cooking process of everything else will kind of cook it down. So I use the steam to lightly cook it. by the way. If you don't have one of these, you should get one of these. You use this all the time for everything. And then yeah, just mixing the arugula around. You can kind of see the, you sort of start to see the steam coming off. And that's all the steam that's being trapped inside of the already cooked product. And I'm using that steam to gently, gently cook the arugula so it's just barely cooked down. It's almost like the arugula is turning really bright green. It's a, like, if you overcook arugula, it just it brings a lot of the bitterness out, and it'll get real dark green, and it's just not it's not fun. It's not a fun experience for everybody. So, I'm, gonna do quite a, I'm just gonna do the whole thing with arugula because Lord knows I'm not gonna I'm not gonna eat it unless I don't unless I do. So if you notice, I'm cooking all of the components first for this particular dish. I'm not, I'm using a strip, a skirt steak, but I'm cook, I'm using all of the, I'm cooking all the components first. Um, because these are the things that kind of need a lot more, it's kind of a multitasking paradigm because if I'm cooking the steak right now, I could be potentially doing that right now. Just don't really want to. But I do all this other stuff first so it's ready. And it's just a lot easier to do it that way. I move in phases when I cook. I don't I don't just start cooking steak for a steak dinner. I I get everything prepped, ready to go, I cook, and then I move into cooking all of the supporting rolls making sure those are good to go and then as the supporting rolls are finishing up then I'll get the the main performer done working and then by the time everybody's ready by the time the main performer is ready everything is ready to go there's no lag between product being done so much that's the goal today I'm a little lazy so I'm kind of like it all right time to put the stick Damn hot. It's always best to marinate the steak, stir steak, but I just got it today so I didn't do that. Um, chili lime would have been really nice because I'm doing basically a chili lime dish, but NBD, no big deal. Stir steak is always just fucking good. Some stuff. Cut it off along the grain first. I'm trying to make it so it's going to be easier to cut. Make strips into, but I want to make the pieces kind of somewhat uniform to work with. 
go. And now, let's see, that's the grain. You want to cut like this against the grain. See, that's the grain. I want to cut against it. So I set it up so that it's like, I can multitask. Move through different pieces at the same time. I'll cut it against the grain. Because I'm doing that, it's going to fall apart in your mouth much easier if you get significantly easier to chew. On the lean, on the clean. Charlie Chan. Oh, yeah. 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 Mr. Dean. Yeah, I got a little olive oil in there. 
a lot of times I would use butter, but I, I'm gonna try olive oil. It actually might be, it's definitely gonna be healthier. And, um, potatoes. I really hit the jackpot on that one. They're super good. No carbs. Beautiful stuff. skills. Uh, hash on and then meats. Oh, I did not add in this parsley stuff, so. Cilantro. You know what? I think I'm gonna put this on. Alright, right, just do this right here. And then the basil chiffonade with the green onion. especially in some kind of chili wine marinade, but I just uh, didn't do that this time. It is nice. And then, uh, Thank you. 
Yeah. All right, and there you go. There's your meal prep. That'll last. Uh, that'll last me probably a good. If I eat this for every meal, three days, three or four days. So. guys thank you everybody for joining me um i think i'm gonna do wednesday at six o'clock Wednesday at 6 o'clock. So we're going to do Saturday, every Saturday at 1 p.m. and then Wednesdays at 6 o'clock. And um, yeah, just do some live meal prep. So um, thanks for joining me. Check out the podcast. Check out the website for some uh, recipes. What's up, dude? Kind of missed the whole thing. But I shared it. I shared the uh, video on Instagram so you can watch the whole thing if you want to. But um, I actually just finished. But just so you can see what we did, it's basically like a, that faux potatoes that I showed you before, with the with like a nice sweet potato hash, some skirt steak, and uh, green onions with basil on top. So it's a good meal prep situation. Go back and watch the video. I shared it on Instagram already. Um, but yeah, we'll do Saturdays 1 p.m. and then Wednesdays at 6 p.m. for the meal prep, the live stream meal prep. So stay tuned. I'll see you guys later. Thanks for joining. Bye.